what is happening stealth army it's me and we're back with another minecraft video today hope you guys are doing great and staying safe out there today i want to focus on possibly one of my favorite features of all time the warden and i want to focus on what exactly mojang is trying to do with the warden because it seems like they're not quite sure so what i would like you guys to do in today's video is leave some things you would like to see out of the warden down below in the comment section as always i appreciate all the support leave a like if you're just super excited not only for the warden but for 1.17 the caves and cliffs update don't forget to hashtag stealth army as well guys you know the routine you know what to do if you're part of the squad stealth army let's get it so what exactly will the warden be like once it's finally finished for the release of 1.17 well the gameplay footage makes it rather obvious that the warden's gonna be super fast super strong blind uses sound detection vibrations to determine where you're at and really intimidating and scary right we know all of these things about the warden however this isn't even released yet and it looks like we might not get the warden that we're seeing in this gameplay footage the homie King B Dogs, and hopefully he's watching this video because I love you to death, man. You're doing incredible work, incredible things with Minecraft, but he tweeted this out not too long ago. It feels like a constant theme while working on the deep dark, the skulk, and the warden that I ask myself, is this too scary for Minecraft? And then a user called Skulltech Stuff replied by saying, The main worry with the warden is that stealthing around will be practically mandatory because I hate it when non-stealth games have enforced stealth moments, because I have ADHD and I don't like being forcefully slow. And then King B Dogs replied to that tweet and he said, this is a good point and something I've been thinking about. To be honest, I don't know the solution other than having an extremely late game reward that makes the warden pretty easy to deal with. My only problem with that is it somewhat defeats the purpose. I don't know yet. So, this is quite the dilemma. I understand both perspectives, but ultimately, I feel like the Warden is intended to be a new challenge. And then we got another response to this tweet by Navid. Like, this tweet is actually blowing up. A lot of people are invested in the Warden. A lot of people care about this. And Navid replied saying, I watched the first Ask Mojang video, and you said there's no special loot for the Warden, and I really got disappointed. Please set good loot for Warden. And King B Dogs replied to this, The point is to have special loot in the chest. We don't want players encouraged to kill the Warden. So let's talk about everything that just happened, everything we just read, because it's a lot to basically take in, especially if you really care about this mob. If you want to know what's going on with the Warden, as of right now, what we're seeing, we're not 100% sure if this is what we're getting. We don't know if we're going to get this destructive entity, a monster that dwells in the darkness that just kills you in two hits that is just terrifying. We are getting the warden. You know, obviously it responds to sound and noise. We do know those things. We don't know how strong the mob is going to be. We don't know if it's going to be something that can die like we don't know a lot of things about the warden in terms of its health the amount of damage it can deal it seems like the developers definitely have to figure out something because you have to admit the warden is a one-of-a-kind type of mob we don't have anything in minecraft that's even remotely close to the warden the warden is 10 times more interesting than the wither and the ender dragon combined it seems like a very unpredictable battle and from what King B Dogs has been tweeting out it doesn't seem like you're supposed to be fighting this mob it doesn't seem like this is the type of battle you want to get into for obvious reasons but in my personal opinion I don't think there's anything that Mojang or any developer can truly do about that no matter what there's gonna be groups of people from the community that are gonna treat this like a challenge they're going to treat this like a boss battle even if the warden isn't designed to be a boss and we'll see how that goes right you know, they're probably not going to do too well um, especially if it has a tremendous amount of health i don't think the answer to that issue or that problem is to nerf the warden 
if anything they just need to make it more powerful stronger i think considering minecraft is like a 12 year old game we need these challenges even if it's gonna bother some people that feel like well this is a rated e game this is designed for kids and everybody you shouldn't have bosses or entities this strong i strongly disagree with anybody that thinks that because we have other entities and mobs in the game that you can fight with you know easy normal hard difficulty there should be something in the game that could pretty much defeat anybody someone that's been playing the game for one day one month one year 10 years it doesn't matter we need that type of challenge and that's why the warden is so appealing to so many people no matter what type of mob it is if it's the warden if it's the elder guardians the wither boss the ender dragon if you rush into that boss battle or if you just go into it without any type of strategy you're more than likely going to fail now there's probably going to be some rare instances that people get super lucky and they're able to defeat it the first time but if you go into any of these battles unprepared and you're just eager ready to go fight it without preparation you're probably gonna lose i don't think the warden would change that if it was nerfed a little bit it should be super strong let me know what you guys think about that in terms of the loot mojang needs to go all out similar to what they did with the uh, leecher wings and the end city loot how that's essentially like the best loot by a long shot we need that type of loot in the deep dark biome considering it's probably going to be one of the most difficult biomes to find as well as to get to i mean this is going to be at the very base the very bottom of minecraft it's going to be pitch black and super dangerous so the risk reward it has to be there there has to be an incentive some sort of exclusive item weapon a new ore something you can craft an enchantment like they have to do something that you can only get in this biome i don't want to be able to find this in the desert temple or the jungle temple or a village it has to be exclusive to the deep dark to the warden to this experience share your ideas down below i personally would love a scythe i know it's probably not going to happen but a unique weapon would just be incredible i would love a scythe or a grappling hook for the big caves that we have now but leave your thoughts down below notification squad y'all the best and i'll catch you all in the next video so take care peace